Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make this animation. Let's start by seeing the animation. We have a button in here, and once we hover over it, an animation will play, and once we release, another animation will play. So the hover animation is going to be this. It will contain three clips, a size delta, a color image, and a scale, and the same goes for the release, just reverting the animations. So let's start by disabling these animations and see how the animation actually goes. First we have an image circle here and we can just scale it like a huge number, 3000 for example. And as you can see, just an, an, a circle and we can just color it whatever color we want. So all these is going to play with the animation. So let's just create a new animation and let's just call it a hover animation. And in the add component we just we can just add the animora player component. And in here we have this animora player component. And here we are going to add the first clip we have which is the size we can just add it in here and we will just add the target. We can just add the target by dragging the image circle over the clip and it will add it automatically. And in here we can just adjust the size delta and in our case we are going to change the size delta from the current size delta to 1. That means just the first initial whatever the circle right now like it's going to be zero zero and it will just go to one in our case the one will be a three thousand by three thousand okay just like that it will just do the animation but as you can see it's just going back and we can solve this by adjusting the easing right now we have an easing which which is which goes like 0 to 1 to 0. This is not how we are going to do it, so let's just adjust it by hitting this button and we can just lerb it from uh, putting a linear lerb. That just means that it will just go from 0 to 1. Okay, now we have this, we can just add another clip which is going to be the color, the image color, and we are going to put the an image as a target and for the interpolation is it's going to be the same going from current to one and for the one we can just adjust the color putting it as a green and for the easing we can, we are going to put it as linear as well okay so let's just test this animation as you can see it's working so we have this one let's just duplicate this animation to make the release animation. Okay, we have this release animation and we can just adjust the, the size first. Let's just go from the current, which is going to be at the end of the first animation 3000. So from 3000 to the final one, which is, which is going to be a zero. So let's just put zero here. And for the color, we are going to go back to the same color as our background here. Let's just hook these animations. First, we will just uh, change the play mode to manual. That will mean it will not play the animation once the, uh, the game plays. So let's just put, put it to manual and go, go to the play button and just add the animations. For the hover, we can just drag the hover animation over here. And for the release, we can just drag the release animation. Okay, so let's just hit play and test. As you can see, it's, it is working, but it's slow. It's really slow. Okay, so let's just adjust these. First, we can just adjust the duration, the overall duration of the animation. And we can just adjust the size, these uh, clips as well. Okay. For this one, the hover animation, and for the release animation, doing the same. Okay, 
So let's just see. As you can see, it's just much quicker. Okay, last but not least, we can add a new scale animation for the button. As you can see, right now it's not scaling. Let's just scale the button. We can just add a scale component, like scale clip, and we can just drag that play button as a target. For the scale, they just go from current by one. That just it will mean just that it will calculate from the start start scale and adding this one, like adding point one by point one. For the easing, let's just adjust the easing and go for lerp and go for outback. Okay, so let's test it. And as you can see, it's just it's moving, it's scaling, as you can see, a bit. Okay, for the release animation, we can just copy this scale just by hitting the copy and we can just paste it in here. For this scale, we are going to go to one, which is going to be just go to one and we can just adjust that one and let's just test it. As you can see, it's just moving scaling and doing the animation, the first animation, and once we release, we are going to reverse. That's it for this video. Thanks. See you.